Alright, so I've been working on finalizing this for the past few days, and basically what I've done is set up motion sensors in each room of my apartment, and as a result, I can get Home Assistant to have a general idea of where I am in the apartment, and as a result of that, uh, be able to control the lights accordingly. Uh, so as you can see, I'm currently in the living room, and what I'm going to do is walk into the bedroom here. And as you can see, the bedroom lights will come on. I can walk into the bathroom, and you can see the bathroom lights come on. You can also see over here in the current motion location, it says where I am in the apartment. So I can walk back into the bedroom, and the bathroom lights will go off. I can walk into my closet, and the closet lights will come on. And you may notice that the bedroom lights are not actually turning off. Um, that's a choice I made uh, going in and out of the bathroom in the closet. I didn't want the adjacent lights to go off, in the bedroom being connected to both the bathroom and the closet. But I can walk back into the bedroom, and the closet lights will go off. And then back in the living room, and the living room lights will come on. Uh, and I guess I can show you, we can go into the kitchen as well, and the kitchen lights will come on. And then, you know, again, back into the bedroom. I'm sorry, living room. Uh, so that's a little bit of what I've been working on. Uh, hopefully I can get a little bit more kind of intelligence baked into this. I want to try to use a genetic algorithm to do a little bit more prediction so that when there's multiple occupancy, uh, the system can, can know that there's a multiple or there's more than one person here and, and adjust accordingly. Uh, but that's it.